Hello friends, here in this video, we are going to see what is meant by Hooke's law. Hooke's law, it states that in an elastic member, stress is directly proportional to strain within elastic limit. So here is Hooke's law and this I can explain it with the help of a diagram. On y-axis, we have stress. On x-axis, we have strain. So, it states that in an elastic member, stress is directly proportional to strain within elastic limit. Now, what is the meaning of elastic limit is that if we have a member or I can say a rod if I'm pulling this rod and when the material is elastic then at the point of application when the load is applied then this shape of the rod will change and when the load is removed it will regain its original shape so in an elastic member stress is directly proportional to strain within the elastic limit so here the graph is linear I'll call it as 0 to A and within this region 0 to A if I can see that when I increase stress strain is also increasing again if I increase stress value strain increases then again if stress is increased strain increases and so on up to the final value So here, when I am saying that stress is increased, in other words, as stress is equal to P upon A, load upon cross-sectional area. So therefore, stress is directly proportional to area or I, I, I can say it is directly proportional to load and inversely proportional to area. So now, when I want to increase the stress, at that time I will have to increase the load on the member. So if the load increases, stress value will go on increasing. And when I am increasing the stress, at the same time strain increases. So this is Hooke's law. In an elastic member, stress is directly proportional to strain. So I will say that, therefore, from the Hooke's law, I can write down stress is sigma it is directly proportional to strain which is small e therefore stress if i remove the proportionality sign stress will be equal to then here i have a constant called as modulus of elasticity so hence capital e i'll write it as stress upon strain Here I'll say that where capital E is called as Young's modulus or modulus of elasticity and modulus of elasticity is given by the ratio of stress versus strain and this modulus of elasticity will decide how much elastic the material is so here this unit of Young's modulus will be same as the unit of stress that is Newton per mm square because strain doesn't have a unit and so with the help of Hooke's law we are getting the Young's modulus so in this video we have seen what is meant by Hooke's law and how to get Young's modulus from Hooke's law